Hello, everyone. Welcome to Lab 5 of Argo CD, Lab 5. Uh, if you saw my first four videos on Argo CD, Argo CD you, you saw that I created, installed everything, put a new app in and auto sync and whatnot. But one thing I did not do in those two lab, on those four labs is actually show you the UI. So if you remember from, I think, Lab 3, we had set up a port forwarding. So we had set up a port forwarding to local our local port 8080 to port 443 on this Argo CD service that was running on the on the Kubernetes clusters. That allows us to go to the UI and go to the UI just by hitting our local host on port port 8080. So let's do that. Local host 8080. And it gets forward to this. Now Username is admin, password is what we had gotten by running a command in a lab two, I believe. Anyway, that's the password. Again, I'm going to destroy this in just a minute. So it's not going to be, it's not going to be relevant in, in three minutes from now. That's the part password we sign in. This is the Argo CD UI. It is giving me, it's giving me a window into uh, all that's happening on the Argo CD implementation on my cluster. You, under application, this is where you can have a billion applications if you want. Right now, we only have one. This is the one application we have that is getting its YAML files from this repo that I had created. All it does is creates the deployment of Nginx. Nginx. That's all. That's all it does. Um, we can refresh this. We can delete this. We can sync this. And there's a thousand other things we can do on this UI. But uh, in the first four labs, I had forgotten to actually give you a at least a new, at least one look into the UI that we have. So, for example, let's do something. Let's we can sync this app, right? And it gives me a whole bunch of options, and sure all, and sync, and it should say synced. And then now, um, if we if there was any changes in the YAML repo repo in the YAML files, it would have made those changes apply to to, to our cluster if that was the case. But in this case, we didn't make any changes. We can delete that, sure. Please forward, blah, 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 blah. sure, everything. Let's delete the whole app. Enter the application name, okay, just to confirm. Okay, fine. Foo bar, I think that was the name of the app we, we gave it. Delete the app, for example. So anyway, now we have no, no more applications and you can have billion applications if you want. So I hope that was useful. This, this gives you a, a, a feel for what the UI looks like, because in the first four labs, all we did was, was command line stuff. So I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please like and subscribe. That helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you in some sort of CKD lab next.